Deadlight is a side-scroller platformer from 2012, made by Tequila Works, which is a very interesting name for a studio, and it is published by Microsoft, which is not. It is quite interesting take on the side-scroll genre, run, taking run. place in a dark and dying zombie world. Here, the whole zombie phenomenon is actually interpreted in a pretty good way. What you realize right from the start is that this game has the groove, or as you could also say, the atmosphere of a good old zombie world. It is dark and it is cold. The fog is thick and the biggest fear is to be cornered by the nasty, handsy shadows and their disgusting moaning needs. It's not about killing them. It is about avoiding them. Just like hard decisions in real life. And just that is what Deadlight does best. Being a cozy and interesting world to traverse. With a deep perspective and beautiful background where stuff happens as you make your way through the obstacles and puzzles that you are supposed to make it through. In my opinion, it takes a lot to make a side-scroller really interesting. As long as it's not Mario, you have to be creative to make it interesting. And Deadlight sort of makes it. There are a few cool moments and situations where the player can feel kind of smart, even if they really aren't, when figuring out how to proceed. Especially when the foreground or background plays tricks on you. Sometimes it's hard to know what you can climb on and what is just there for looks, resulting in many embarrassing suicides. Lucky for Randy that there is a short interval save system that brings him back to life every time he dies, which is guaranteed to be many. You play as Mr. Randall Wayne, a grumpy and actually kind of confused old man that is searching for his wife Shannon and their daughter Lydia. The search takes us through a story that could be a lot better written, and a twist that is not as good as the writer probably thought. The story were for me a big downstep for the game, as it was kind of hard to believe that it could actually play out like it does in the story. The behavior that they assigned to the surviving humans is not really unique for Deadlight per se, but even so, here it is written in a way that makes more damage than good for the game in its whole. The story is told through cinematics made up by still images in layers. Many games nowadays use this, and though cheap, it can be a well-functioning way to create cinematics. I guess they work here in this regard the stilted voice acting and sometimes weirdly written dialogue. Sometimes I get the feeling that the voice actor has a stick up his arse while shooting though. Gotta get to Ben! Gotta get to Ben! Gotta get to Ben! Gotta get to Ben! The characters is not really interesting and there are never any way to get involved in them, as they either die, Ben died in the accident, or just feel like very unlikely individuals. The game is very beautiful and atmospheric and that has to be acknowledged, but that alone cannot bring the whole game to big heights. Sure, the platforming part is well done and kind of entertaining, but it feels very scripted and thereby tiresome of the while. Especially when some mechanics won't work as well as the game for the moment demands, resulting in you dying over and over until the damn mechanic works and not putting you in the spotlight here. Fence, hole. That is something that is very consistent through the game. Trial and error. If you get this on a sale, it could be worth it if you're up to two or three hours platforming. But for the full price, I cannot really say that I think it's worth it, as it's short and lacks in several aspects. I give Deadlight a 5 out of 10 and recommend when caught on sale. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and click that little bell to be sure to get notifications whenever new videos arrive. To you all in the horde of moaning morons. Good gaming all bros and hoes, until next time!